Hello, it is Jessica Weaver, and I am so excited for today because we have Danita Young, who is the founder and owner of Booty Bands and Barbells. And welcome to the Booty Bands More Than Fitness Podcast. Get your best booty and abs in 30 days with your own coach and home gym. Results or your money back. Studies show that 80% of women gain the weight back within 12 months, and this is because the weight loss industry is just focusing on that one-size-fits-all solution rather than something that's more specific for just you. So not anymore because up here at BootyBands.com, you're going to get your own coach, a women's home gym, and the highest quality nutrition that's going to create those lasting results. So let's get started. Thank you for coming on here because we're going to talk about a piece of our wealth is our health. And for me, without our health, Our money means nothing. I want all of the people in our community to be the healthiest version of themselves while they're working. And then especially when it comes to retirement, when they have the freedom to actually travel, to get back to the gym, to do things that they've been waiting to do for so long. So thank you, Denita, for coming on and being a part of our community here. Yeah, absolutely. Love it. We had our first podcast with each other and we really connected on this topic and excited to be back and connecting with you more on this is great. Yes, to bring you into our community now. How did you get started with booty bands? Yeah, very interesting. So you hear booty bands probably a lot nowadays, but what's great is you're actually speaking to the original booty bands. If you look behind me on this wall, you can see that um, the industry had the uh, the rubber ones and those were just like the flimsy, they would roll up, snap, break. And, and as a certified personal trainer, it was very difficult to have my clients use them because they were just not really effect. They were effective as far as like the results we were trying to get to that lifted round shaped booty, but the product itself was just terrible. So I ended up going home and making my own. It was so cute because my boyfriend over here, he's like, Danita, um, so you've got these bands that you're selling at at the gym. How much are you making them for and how much are you selling them for? And I was like, oh yeah, um, I can make them for $10 and I sold them for $10. And he just laughed, put his heart... (laughs) He just put his hands in his face and he goes, oh no, like you're that girl. Like you just, you'll give your shirt off your back. And And that's obviously like the authenticity part behind this is I went into booty bands with the intention to help not to sell them a product. And so that's really what we are is helping women step into their best self. We went from booty bands and obviously the name's barbells because it just amplified into becoming we're now we're the first complete home gym for women. 65% of women are absolutely terrified to go to the gym because of fear of judgment. And so as women are trying to get their body back after children, et cetera, et cetera, it's just such a great tool for them to step into their self. But we stand out differently because we have certified trainers in our app that are guiding them through each one of the workouts. So we really connect with our audience. And again, as we're established, I wasn't selling a product. I'm here to really make a transformation. That is such a good point because a lot of times we start out with the best of intentions. We want to help, we want to serve. And I think most women get into creating their own business for those reasons, to do it on their own terms, to get out, reach, make an impact. But somewhere along the way, sometimes we feel like we're chasing the money. And it's because we we try to do five-year goals in three days. We put so much pressure on ourselves. We put so much expectation. But coming back to that reasoning of why I got into this, you wanted to make it easier for women. You wanted to be comfortable for women so they're not snapping themselves. I know exactly the band you're talking about. My kids are constantly snapping and hurting themselves with them. But you really are here to help. That's amazing. I want to know what is the biggest mindset shift women need to make or they start to make when they do prioritize themselves and their health. And I'm sure there's more more than one, but what comes to mind for you? The number one shift I would say is their selves getting in their own way. And I know that's so cliche, but probably one of the biggest things I see is that women expect this perfectionist mentality that it really corrupts and ruins the routine. I I hear most often, I fell off my routine. I started and I stopped. I was going to do it tomorrow. Well, all of that is actually just being a perfectionist and not just focusing on the progression side of it. And so I think that would be the one thing is allow yourself grace and step back and recognize that it is a journey as you, you and I've talked about that end destination is this 
false reality we all live in that we're like, oh, when I get there, when I get there, right? But when we get there, we're like, oh, but I want more. It's like the human nature. And so like, once you grasp onto that and recognize that truly the gift is in the journey side of it, learning to love yourself, learning to find that balance, learning to set those boundaries, that is all part of really the progression and getting out of that perfectionist mentality. Yes. We can't just fix, right? We can, I want to lose 20 pounds today. I get on the scale tomorrow and I didn't lose any weight and you get frustrated and you stop the routine. I see it too. I want to pay all my debt off today. I want the million dollars tomorrow. And it is, it's a practice. It's not something that we fix overnight. And if we did fix it overnight, then what was the point of it? Because you just fall back off of it, off the routine. It is a complete lifestyle shift. I say money is a practice. It's something like you said, we implement it slowly and we build some momentum going for it. And for you the same way, right? We start taking these small steps and to get that momentum to start it building and you start to just feel better. You get more energy, you're sleeping better, your knee doesn't hurt as much. And all of those are the small wins and celebrations that we tend to just blow right past, don't we? <laughs> Do you have any tips on that? How can you celebrate those small wins of getting a full night of sleep, of even having to get knee surgery or hip surgery, possibly, having more energy to play with your kids? What are your thoughts on that? On uh, focusing on the small wins or what do you mean about the injuries and stuff? What do you mean by that? To me, that's a small, that's a huge win, right? If all of a sudden your knee that's been hurting you for five, 10 years doesn't hurt you anymore because you're getting healthier, strengthening your muscles, you're, you're starting to put less pressure on it. That's a win that we tend to forget to celebrate or we push right past because we're focused on the scale numbers maybe. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's a huge one about focusing on the small wins because we can get so focused on the things that we didn't accomplish in the day rather than things that we did accomplish. And so this is something that I actually would love to share with you how I've done it. Um, we talked before about like those simple small changes. And so I will give you some insight as far as how I can work 15 hour days, be able to build my brand and be able to still like be happy and in the journey and still like going through this and waking up and just doing it, loving to do it again. Yes. Because obviously as you continue to grow, you're going to find lots of those failures coming in and out. And so it can really suck you down and I'm the face of the brand. And so can you imagine all the trolls that come out on the internet that love to give their opinion, right? So yes. that can really bog you down. And so I would say the number one thing of focusing on those wins, this is what I do. At the end of the day, whoever it's with, and I would choose your partners, usually who I would choose, but you can even do your, your kids. Honestly, you can do this with anybody. It could be I your love sister. it with your kids. Yes. Yeah. What, whoever you want to do this with and what you ask and you make this a habit every day, at the end of the day, the end of the work day, school day, whatever it is, you just ask each other, what were your wins today? And you'll notice it's so hard to focus on those small wins at first, but it does get easier. But at first you're like, oh, well, it was good until this happened. And then you have to catch yourself. You're like, oh, I'm going back into it. So, yes. so what's, what's instead is sometimes you just have to really narrow, narrow down and it could just be as simple as I woke up today. Like it literally can be that, like whatever your wins are, when you focus on those, that's what perpetuates, that's what becomes bigger in your life. And so it really is about what you put in is what you get out. And I really focus on those small wins. I love it. I love it. Yes. It's so important. We talk about having a money miracle journal. I talk about this in my new book, Confessions of a Money Queen. Yes, it's true. We forget all of those little wins. We push right past them and we focus on the negativity. And you had a great point. The more we talk and give gratitude for those wins and we showcase them, they become a reality. And all of a sudden, our entire day is one huge win or a series of wins. So it is whatever we're focusing on, our mind, what we're talking about, what we're looking for, that becomes our reality. So the yeah. more we focus on the wins, the more we're just going to keep leveling up and expanding what our reality is like. Yeah. I also wanted to mention, it's important to have a hype woman around you, or maybe it's just Ooh. your husband or hype children, whatever it is, 
find your audience that's really hyping you and make sure that you surround yourself around them. For me, I've got a girlfriend that walks into my warehouse and she's like, Danita, you have a warehouse. And I'm like, so she's like, Danita, you have a warehouse. And I'm like, let's sink in. That's kind of cool. Okay. Okay. I like this. You know, she brings me back into perspective sometimes Mm -hmm. and allowing people to have that in your life. Even if it just needs to be yourself, whatever it is, step back and go, wow, I did this. This is cool. And we get so in the mind of, as business women to just get hunting for that next goal that we really to climb. Of what we've, what the giant thing we've built behind us. It is true. And to save those, I'll get texts or emails, comments, and I'll screenshot them and save them because there are times when we're in the swamp, whether it's with our health, with our business, with our money, with our things, it feels like you're hitting rollback after roadblock. You can't make headway go back to those or bring her out to lunch, bring out your hype woman out to lunch, grab drinks with her, do something to get I mean, out of that, that funk. Is me and you right here on the call. Like I am absolutely your hype woman. The fact that you've written your four books, I think is absolutely phenomenal. Wow. Like that's so impressive. And so even for yourself to sit back and be like, yeah, that, that's a big accomplishment that maybe you don't really see it, but from other people on the outside, we're like jaw dropped, like, wow, that's really awesome. Thank you for saying that. I feel the same way about your warehouse. That's We're going to have to do this at your warehouse one time because I would love to see that operational side of things. <laughs> anyway, tell me about the community that you've built for your women because it is special. It's different. And I feel like you kind of rebel against your industry, creating your own band, trying to always find better ways to work with women to give them the support that's sometimes lacking in the industry. I try to do the same thing on the financial side, but what is your community like and how are you helping bring women together and offering them support beyond just the sale of the booty band? Yeah, absolutely. I hear all the time that this is the number one life-changing community that they've been a part of. Uh, They've said it's the most inspiring, supportive, and uplifting group of women. Uh, They've also said that the full-length workouts and um, the instruction material is giving women the correct knowledge, which they are actually feeling like they are reaching their goals um, through extensive education that we give our community and our members. So not only that, on top of it, what makes us stand out with our products above other competitors is that when somebody buys in with a product, Product, they get a coach and that coach jumps on a call with them and we go over what their goals are. And so with that, they get four things on the call, the introduction call, and that is a nutrition plan that's custom to them, a workout routine that's designed to help them reach their goals, a progress tracker and a daily checkoff list. What are some small steps to get people re-engaged? Everyone's talking about the COVID-15. We all gained a little bit of weight. We drank too much. We baked too much. (laughs) There's too many cookies and cupcakes at home. What are ways that we can get re-engaged? Because I'm guessing one of the big excuses is I don't have enough time. Yeah, that's a big one. I have a three-step program. We do mindset, nutrition, and workouts. A first step, obviously, is your mindset. Learning really what the loop is, step out of that, and and focus on really what you're saying to yourself. Second step is obviously nutrition that I dived into. Most women are not eating enough. And if anything, they're actually starving themselves. A lot of people think like, oh, there must be overeating, but majority of those women are only eating one or two meals a day and their body is actually holding on to the weight because your body is putting yourself into survival mode which is actually sleep mode and holding on to all of the weight and so it's and that traumatizes women the same way it does with weights is they're like wait a minute weights I thought make me look bulky no weights make you look more toned they burn the fat your muscle is your metabolism so that whole shift is a big one And I love that it's not that we failed. I say this to women with their money. You didn't fail. It was the plan. The plan failed because there was no plan or it was a plan that was trying to fix everybody's problems, but you are unique to you. And we can't just put you in a box. Just like we can't put your health in a box. You might have family history, genetical issues. You might have um, a recent surgery, right? We need to find what's a way that's going to work for you. So I love that you said that. And I want all the women to know, yes, they aren't, it's, it's not them, their fault 
why they are a certain way with their money, with their health, with their eating, whatever it is. They are exactly as they should be, but there are tools in your toolkit and my toolkit that can really help them feel better about where they are and also where they're going, get clear on that vision of where they're going. Instead of just saying, I wanna lose weight, let's really get clear on how is that going to change your life? Is it just losing the weight or is it gaining the energy, gaining the confidence, how you're showing up in the world? Such a big piece. The long-term perspective that you and I both have about supporting women is for a longer term goal. 65% of women are super uncomfortable about going to the gym. If you look at the products behind me and having all of these like super awesome colors, mm -hmm. obviously we're USA made and we really pride ourselves in giving back to the local economies, but the psychology aspect, this sleeker design and allows them to go, Hey, I can lift weights and I can look feminine and I can still keep my curves. And that to me is allowing women to start lifting weights because I know what the weight loss industry is. It's an $80 billion industry. And so being able to transform that and really support women to start lifting weights to get way better results, not for just now. I care about how you feel when you're 80 years old. Yes. My best thing I hear is when women not only send me their before and after pictures, that's great. You changed your body. But when I hear Danita, I have hope and I am more confident and I feel good naked. That's amazing. Amen to that. Yes. To feel good naked in front of the mirror. I have young children. So they're like, what's that? What's that? <laughs> I have proud mama mother of two c-sections so i have my my scar and i've come to learn to what before i hated it, to love and appreciate it so to be able to appreciate our bodies and the power source of our bodies is so important i love it and you keep saying that statistic of women being intimidated at the gym it's so similar to their money 80 percent of women are uncomfortable talking about finances so i can see the blocks and you're right the weight rooms are probably designed by men. Let's be honest. They are extremely ugly colors. Like you said, they smell. And I know I keep thinking of my mom. She's like, the gyms are just, they're just dirty. <laughs> I don't want to go in there. They feel dirty and talk about being uncomfortable as well. So finding a way to make your workouts your own, do them on your own terms and to feel good about them is going to allow you to keep doing it. That's the biggest thing to want to come back to it, to want to keep feeling that way you do after your workout. Because let's be honest, we probably feel our best right after a workout. Yeah, and there's this belief that um, that they have to be 45 minutes to an hour or more to be successful. And so I think this kind of relates to yours as well, that they have this imagination of like what they have to be to have financial freedom or their perfect body. And that literally can overwhelm them so much that it just kind of cripples them. Yeah. So your 10 steps to money freedom is so beautiful. It's like a little Bible about how women can take those small steps. And that's something that we pride in too, because I mean, literally, this is so metaphoric. You and I speaking about whether it's financial or getting into your best shape is literally the same solution of success. And we focus on the, a 10 to 15 minute workout while you're at home. That in itself, because we focus on not just burning calories within the workout, but we focus on the calories that are burnt 24 to 48 hours after the workout when you're utilizing resistance bands and weights versus just cardio. So we emphasize that our short, quick, intense workouts, it's more about this consistency and staying on the routine of the 10 to 15 minutes than being so overwhelmed of having to do the one hour workout where you're not as consistent. Exactly. And ladies, 15 minutes is 1% of your time each day. 1%. We can all give up 1% to be, that's being so efficient. 15 minutes, but we're still burning calories hours later. Extremely efficient. Same thing with our money. If we can just dedicate 1% of our income to savings or dedicate 15 minutes of our day to just become aware, become aware of what's going on. It doesn't need to be hours at a time, like you said. I love it. Where can people find your, the booty bands and the barbells, especially the pink color? I love it. Gosh. Right. It's, it's awesome. Um, so we're very simple. It's bootybands.com. At your home. And you have your podcast. You have so much support on social media. Where can they find you on social media? 
Uh, social media, we are Booty Bands Official on Instagram. We've got YouTube, which is um, just YouTube uh, forward slash Booty Bands. Leveling so. up the assets, ladies. Emphasis on the ass. <laughs> Leveling up our assets in so many different ways. Thank you, Danita, for being on with us. So grateful for you. I love what you are building. And we love bringing powerhouse women like you onto our blog, Not Your Father's Advisor. And this is like Not Your Father's Gym. Let's stop playing to the old school version of a gym and let's build it for our own. All right. Thank you again. Bootybands.com, ladies. Thank you so much, Jessica. Have a great one. You too. Awesome. Wrapping up, we hope that this left you with some valuable information that you can help with improving your mind, your body, and your life. Really, we're about helping you step into your best self, and that's why we do these weekly, so that we can hear from you and how it resonated. So go ahead and write us a review, and we will pick weekly giveaways on our unique booty bands to give away. So thank you guys so much for listening. It was awesome having you on. I'm very excited to leave your review. Make sure to hit subscribe so that you can get notified on any future podcasts that come out. And of course, join the community and join the app called Booty Bands and Barbells, where you'll find us in the workouts, the meal plan, and of course, all the fun challenges. I'll see you soon, and I'll see you in the workouts.